Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, Brita Wool, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know that I have the honor to talk with Brita Wool today. And she's here to talk about the second season of AT&T Audience Network series, Mr. Mercedes. All right. Tell me about this creepy, creepy series. Um, well, um, this series is based on a Stephen King book trilogy of the same title, Mr. Mercedes. And uh, Jack Bender, who uh, you might know, he's our he's our captain of our ship. Um, uh, but he made Lost, and uh, David E. Kelly and Dennis Lehane are writers. David E. Kelly um, did Big Little Lies, you might know him from. And the mm-hmm. cast of the show is beautiful, and the series. If you're a fan of the book series, you will absolutely love um, the show as well. And I think. I guess what I'll what I'd say about this show is uh, there's a lot of things to watch on television, but this show in particular is absolutely unique um, and beats to its own drum and is beautifully shot. And Brendan Gleeson, our lead actor, and Harry Treadaway are stellar, stellar, empathic people who really bring these characters to life. It's a very special show, and I'm very proud to be well. Anything that Stephen King does has to be special. I'd love to spend an afternoon with him and get inside of his head. But we see his DNA all over uh, the series as, as it's brought to life. Uh, oh, yes. He out. made a, a cameo in our first season. Oh, I missed that. Oh, it's amazing. He. Oh, you, you, you should go back and uh, do a little rewind. He... Uh, he came I'm gonna to, have to. He came to Charleston and he had an amazing cameo on our show. Um, and he, oh, and he's, he's a like big Dan fan Lee. of our show. What? He's like Stan Lee on uh, the Marvel, whatever those things are. Exactly. Um, exactly. Cameo, and we'll be looking for it. <laughs> There's an extraordinary sort of epic shot um, of this diner with all sorts of crazy things happening, and it ends right on Stephen King. And I don't. I'm not even sure if I should tell you or. No, let me find out for myself. I'll Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. But what you can I, I was going to I was going to do something. If you can see me on this whether you're listening or whether you're watching, I'll just do one action and it's, and it's this. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's let it. That's my only I ca- clue. I got to ask you I got to ask you this. Is your new is your new place going to be on streaming television? You have done so many incredible things and made a space for yourself there. Is that part of your plan? Um, well, I uh, personally, as an actor on the show, I do not um, uh, consult necessarily in the distribution of our show. But um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm thought, let, Let's look at the big picture. I've seen you on the Lifetime drama series Unreal. Oh, yes. And you were so good, they gave you a spinoff. Oh, thank you. you. Know, and we consider Lifetime streaming TV, believe it or not. They say something else. We call it streaming TV. Uh, <laughs> So you have made made a space for yourself in, in in modern television, not traditional television. And so I'm looking. This is me. I'm looking for somebody to be the first breakout star of streaming TV, and you might be it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to get on the phone with my mom right now and tell her that. Mom! Because the roles I've seen you play, and I saw how well you were received on Lifetime, oh. that they created a spin, a, a mini spinoff for you. Yes. That was um, incredible by itself. But you're a very good actor. I Thank you very much. Uh, I feel wildly fortunate and lucky to um, have worked with the people that I work with. Sarah Shapiro, uh, the show creator of Unreal, Believed in me and uh, supported me and Jack. Ben- and I can see why. Yeah, it felt. Um, I, you know, I think that the 
you know, there's a lot of noise in this profession. And I think that if you can reach a place where you are doing something very, very simple and just focusing on a story that is special and it's not about you and it's not about your ego and it's not about, um, you know, what people think of me personally, Brita Wool, but it's about sharing a truth. I feel like that is the place in my career where I feel the most connected, which I guess is what we're all kind of trying to do anyway, is sort of be connected and reach out. Um, and I feel like so unbelievably fortunate that I've been able to work with like Brendan Gleeson and Constance Zimmer and these real profound artists who are definitely not making it about them. They make it about the story and they make it about the larger impact of how that story will affect people and just focusing on making something truthful and real. And it feels awesome. And which brings us back to, um, you know, season Mr. two Mercedes. of Mr. Mercedes. Um, I play Lou Linklater. And in this story, I have been absolutely violently disenfranchised from a community. And then you have a character like Detective Hodges, played by Brennan Gleeson, and his portrait is, you know, that question on a daily basis, whether you play into the demons inside of you or whether you play into reaching out to your neighbor, who's Ida, uh, Ida in our show, played by Holland Taylor. You know, whether you reach out to somebody and make a connection, kind of... Um, I guess it's the difference. Actually, it's exactly the difference. Brady Hartsfield, you know, reaches out to people by committing violent acts so that he can get attention. And Well, the series is, let me tell my audience that the series is now available on AT&T Audience Network. And you can see the past, like I'm going to go back so I can find Stephen King, and you can see the current. Brita, let me ask you once again, uh, Mr. Mercedes. You sit, when, when do we watch it? Um, well, our we're, episode one is August 22nd, and it's every Wednesday at 10 p.m. on the Audience Network. And if you have, um, this is how I watch it. I have unlimited AT&T uh, on my phone. And if you have that, you can also get uh, Watch TV, which has the Audience Network on it and a whole variety of live television programs that you can watch. Well, you're worth getting it if we don't have it. Thank you so much, Brita Wool. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you so you. much. I appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate your support. I really, really thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the work that you do. You're uh, lovely to watch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>